Hello everyone and welcome to Jacket Educational Channel. So you guys have done well in the examination of Net Environmental Science, which was conducted on 29th of September 2020, and I am here to tell you about the analysis. So I am not a great YouTuber or I am not having any institute, but I am having the student strength, those who have supported me, and because of them only, I have been able to bring a video for all of you. So this time, why I am giving this page as the front page? Because as you can see, this year. The last exam for the NTA UGC NET will be on 13th of November. So that means till 13th of November you all will not be getting your response key or answer key anything because after that only you will be getting that because सारे exams जब खत्म हो जाएंगे then only NTA will release the answer key or your responses. So before that I have tried to collect some of the questions from the students so i am telling you repeatedly because you students are my support and you are my strength so let's start today's analysis so first of all let's see about the overall view on exam so exam kaisa tha ye humne ek poll liya tha so more than 100 students participated in the poll those who gave the paper and you can see that the moderate to difficult level was the answer for about most of the students so paper jo tha moderate se difficult level tha easy nahi tha Next was that which paper was more easy. So among these hundred and nine votes, fifty percent students said that paper one was comparatively easy. So start करेंगे हम paper one से थोड़ा बहुत. So the thing is, DI was confusing. The data interpretation confusion was there in the DI question. It was not easy, but overall paper one was easy. Next was the passage. So passage which came in the uh, paper one, it was very difficult because the scrolling issue was seen this time. So it was not solved by the NTA this time also. And next thing is paper two was mind blowing. So mind blowing means it was like blowing the mind. It was not at all easy. Most of the students were saying, and no CA. That means current affairs section was very least in both the papers. And A B C D type question was more. That means paper two may A B C D type we have to select. Which of the following statements were correct from the question given? So it was not less direct questions came. So that means it was basically based on the more conceptual type. So those who are having concept clear, they were able to do good in the exam. And next thing is A and R. So assertion and reasoning type of question were more. So and the next thing is that the match the following was also more. So match the following भी बहुत देखा गया था, because they wanted to test the I as I said, what was the depth of their knowledge. So that was the overall idea, I guess. So now let's start. What were the questions which I have got from the students? So the this was the match the following given in which the lapse rate were given and we have to correctly match with the condition of the atmosphere. So E L R less than D A L R. That means when environmental lapse rate is less than the dry adiabatic lapse rate, it is called as absolutely stable environment. नेक्स्ट जब ई एल आर इज इक्वल टू डी ए एल आर होता है ड्राई एडिबिटिक लैप्स रेट एंड एनवायरमेंटल लैप्स रेट आर सिमिलर दैट इज इक्वल देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज डे न्यूट्रल कंडीशन और न्यूट्रल कंडीशन व्हेन ई एल आर इज ग्रेटर देन डी एल आर इट इज कॉल्ड एज एब्सोल्यूट अनस्टेबल कंडीशन वी शुड मार्क दिस वन सो फॉर फर्दर एग्जांपल्स इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू नेक्स्ट थिंग वाज द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन एस एल आर ई एल आर एंड डी ए एल आर सो एस एल आर मींस सैचुरेटेड लैप्स रेट एनवायरमेंटल लैप्स रेट एंड हियर dry adiabatic lapse rate so it was matching with conditionally unstable condition so those who have done this one like this type of matching they will get surely the full marks next uh, we have to see the next question next question was from the landfill side so the question was how much should be the minimum distance so minimum distance kitna hoga ek landfill ka water bodies ke एरिया के पास से सो इट वॉज मैं वाटर बॉडीज सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी टू हंड्रेड मीटर सो जिन्होंने भी टू हंड्रेड मीटर को सही ऑप्शन लगाया है उनका आंसर बिल्कुल सही होगा सो डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज बाई रिवर सो रिवर इज कम्प्लीटली सेपरेट दैट इज हंड्रेड मीटर बट हियर आंसर विल बी टू हंड्रेड मीटर इफ इट इज गिवन वाटर बॉडीज लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एन ए ए क्यू एस एज आई सेड इट वॉज द वन ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंट लास्ट क्वेश्चन बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मैंने आपको कराया भी है सो नेशनल एम्बियंट एयर क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड से क्वेश्चन आया था पार्टिकुलर मैटर टेड फॉर द पी एम टू पॉइंट फाइव इन इकोलॉजिकल सेंसिटिव एरिया फॉर द एनुअल नॉट फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर यू शुड मार्क हियर इट वॉज आस्किंग अबाउट द एनुअल सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी दैट पी एम टू पॉइंट फाइव इकोलॉजिकली सेंसिटिव एरिया ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स नॉट इट इज एनुअल सो इट विल बी फोर्टी सो फोर्टी विल बी द माइक्रोग्राम पर मीटर क्यूब फॉर पी एम टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड पी एम टेन का जो है वो होगा सिक्सटी सो सिक्सटी विल बी द 
पी एम टेन इकोलॉजिकली सेंसिटिव एरिया एनुअल लिमिट दैट मीन्स दो जो अब डन फोर्टी सिक्सटी दे विल गेट द फुल मार्क लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्किंग द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल रिलीफ फंड सो इट वॉज अंडर हुई चैक्ट एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी दैट पब्लिक लाइबिलिटी इंश्योरेंस एक्ट विच वॉज एनेक्टेड इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन इट हैंडल्स द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल रिलीफ फंड नेक्स्ट वन ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट क्वेश्चन यू ऑल हैव डन दैट इज सी एफ सी वन वन थ्री वी हैड टू फाइंड द केमिकल फॉर्मूला सो इट इज अ वेरी ईजी सो नाइन्टी एड करना है इफ यू आर एडिंग नाइन्टी टू वन वन थ्री यू विल गेट दैट टू हंड्रेड थ्री विल बी द वैल्यू दैट मीन्स टू विल बी वट टू विल बी नंबर ऑफ कार्बन सो नंबर ऑफ कार्बन विल बी टू देन नंबर ऑफ कमिंग टू द फ्लोरिन पार्ट सो फ्लोरिन विल बी थ्री टू कैलकुलेट द क्लोरिन पार्ट वी हैव टू यूज द फॉर्मूला टू डी प्लस टू माइनस ई माइनस एफ सो फ्रॉम दैट वी गॉट दैट द क्लोरिन विल बी थ्री सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी सी टू सी एल थ्री एंड एफ थ्री सो दो हैव डन दिस वन सो दे विल गेट द फुल मार्क्स एंड इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू केमिकली कैलकुलेट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ सी एफ सी यू कैन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ सी एफ सी यू कैन चेक द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज विच ऑफ दम द फॉलोइंग गैसेज वर गिवेन कंट्रीब्यूट मोस्ट टू द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंट्रीब्यूट मोस्ट टू द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग नेक्स्ट वन द इकोटोन जोन बिटवीन लैंड एंड रिवर इज नोन एज वर्ड सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी इट इज कॉल्ड एज रिपेरियन जोन और रिपेरियन एरिया वन मोर क्वेश्चन वॉज देयर आफ्टर वाटर वेपर विच इज द मोस्ट अबंडेंट गैस इन द वॉल्कैनिक गैस कंपोजिशन सो हियर The correct answer will be carbon dioxide is the second most abundant gas in the volcanic gas eruption, followed by sulfur dioxide, nitrogen, and hydrogen. So you should not get confused within general gas composition, where nitrogen is having 78 percent, oxygen is almost having 21 percent, and other constituents are having after carbon dioxide and argon. So the next question was one of the match the following. It came where the analytical techniques were given, and we had to match with the correct properties which they are analyzing. So same will match with the particle size. So it is used to analyze the particle size, XRD morphological feature, FTIR for organic and inorganic composition of the material, and XRF is used to determine the elemental composition of materials. Let's move to the next question. This question came from Griha rating, and it was asked. That the 57 value of Griha rating will get how many star? So 57 will come under this category, that is 56 to 70, and those who have done three stars, they will get the full mark. So next is combined mean numerical was given. So I don't know the value because student said that one question was there, but you should know what is the combined mean formula, which is combined mean is known as mean of the first set. multiplied by the number of item in the first set plus number of item in the second set multiplied by the mean of the second set divided by the both the means so like this if you have done you would have got the correct combined mean formula and you will get the full marks next question was from the rock section we had to match what is meant by arenaceous rocks arenaceous rocks are a sedimentary rock composed of sand and rudaceous rocks are sedimentary rock they are also sedimentary but they are having fragments coarser than sand grains so they are not smaller than they are bit larger than the sand grains next match the following was there about the important days of environmental science environment related ozone day will match with 16 september world water day 22nd march forest day will be 21st march Next question came from the EIA section that the what is the validity clearance period for the mining project so it was not mentioned which year but in option was also not there so in option 30 year was there so those who have done 30 years they will get the full mark but you have to remember according to the new EIA 2020 they have proposed that the 50 years should be the clearance validity of mining project so if at all next any exam it is coming You should mark according to 2020 EIA draft. It should be 50 years. But here you will get marks if you have done 30 years. Next question was from the Sustainable Development Goal (SDG). So among the 17 SDG, it was asking that which is not a sustainable development goal. So here climate action is there. No poverty is also under SDG. Gender equality is also there. But to phase out ozone is not under sustainable development goal. So that will be the correct option. 
now one more thing was there the upper layer of wetland is called as what so the students which they have said to me they said that they have only remember three option but here in this three option the correct option will be epilimnetic zone because it can't be hyporheic zone it can't be also benthic zone but i don't know what was there in fourth option but epilimnetic zone will be the correct option next one question was there according to the 2014 carbon dioxide emission arrange the country in order of decreasing carbon dioxide emission so first will be china in option china was there followed by united state then it will come european union then india then japan so these five things were given first china usa european union india and and japan those who have selected they will get the correct marks for the correct option let's move to the next slide the next slide was which of them is having least atmospheric residence time so kiska sabse kam hota hai atmospheric residence time yahan pucha tha and in the four option the correct will be oh radical so the next question was asking about the match the following for the chalcophile lithophile and siderophile so if you know at least one thing that is chalcophile means sulfur loving so these elements will be having sulfur so that one will be matching with sulfur the chalcophile similarly we had to match with atmophile lithophile and siderophile with the correct elements and i think those who have matched with chalcophile they have got the correct answer so let's move on to the next question so next question was also a match the following there were many match the following as i have said in the overall analysis so the anova correctly match will be multiple variance comparison so test the difference between two or more means it is used z test is used for a mean of a single sample if you have to calculate chi square test goodness of fit so most of the students said after matching chi square test with goodness of fit they got the correct option so no so no need to go for all this but you should know t test is for comparing means of two groups if more than two groups it will be anova time for the next slide next slide was you have to arrange the chronologically correct order from this type of environmental movements so first was silent valley it will be 1978 chipko movement 1973 epico movement 1983 narmada bachao andolan 1985 so first will be chipko movement next will be silent valley the next will be epico movement and the last one will be narmada bachao andolan so this is the correct chronology so aap chronology ko samjhiye next move on to next slide the next slide was humic acid is insoluble in which of the following so here the correct option will be acid so it is insoluble in acid humic acid found in soil most toxic mercury species many times it is asked the correct option will be methyl mercury formula is ch3hg projects which are excluded from complete ai process so the correct option will be category b2 projects Now these are like very frequent last question So the next question it was from statistics the question was something telling that two marks are awarded for correct answer and minus marking was there for the wrong answer that is 0.25 were deducted so what kind of scale it was showing and the correct option will be among nominal ordinal discrete it will be discrete so those who have marked discrete they will get the full marks so i would like to say that most of the questions were discussed in our class either in our telegram channel or through our daily quiz or through our crash courses so it is not that i am telling this because most of the students said so you can see these are the responses of the students i have not uh, revealed their names because for the privacy reason so students found most of our questions from our channel or our telegram group so there were many comments but i have selected a few so i am very glad to say that most of the questions were from our channel and I was able to help you in some manner so it means a lot to me your comments so god bless all of you and i hope you all will get good results but if you want to continue your preparation for the next environmental science examination for nta ugc net you can join our channel you can subscribe to it you will get the updates as soon as i update any of the video so keep supporting but if you want that more questions you need what came in this examination then you can comment me i will try my best to ask from my students and from my friends to give more questions so that i can discuss on this platform so see you guys in our next video